And I remember one time sitting in class for a graphic design course, and the professor had said something interesting. His words were "garbage in, garbage out." What did he mean by that? See, if you're gonna be working with images, photo editing, manipulation, some kind of correction, um, colors, something of that nature, and if you plan on making it bigger, then you're gonna want to have a high-resolution image. It's just something you're gonna want to do if you want it to look nice. What if you found a really good image, but it was one of those little tiny squares? You know, something of very low resolution, very low um, clarity. You see, when you start making it bigger, it's gonna reflect exactly that low resolution um, is not going to be a very sharp image. Now if you take something that has a very high resolution, they call it dots per inch DPI to start with, then your outcome is going to be a good one. So it's very important with how you begin the process, which image you begin with. Now, might that have something to do on a spiritual level? See the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 18, it says, but we all with open face, beholding as in a glass, the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the spirit of the Lord. Here's a question. What are we beholding or what are we looking at? That is definitely without a doubt changing us. We can simplify that text that we just read and we can pretty much summarize it in these words. By beholding, we are changed. Makes sense, right? Let's take a look at some of the things that we can behold or contemplate that are capable of changing us. Um, oh, some things are going to happen faster than others. And well, here's a few examples. How about what we watch? Or the music we listen to, the things that we listen to. How about our environment? And if we must be a little bit more specific, you know, usually when we are in an environment, it's because our friends are there. So what about our friends? Are these things capable of changing us as we behold them? Now, this is a short video, so we're not going to have an in-depth study of every single category. But let's begin with what we watch. See, in the book of Psalms, chapter 101, verse 3, it says, I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside. It shall not cleave unto me. Instead of what we listen to, there's a verse for that as well. See, it is written in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 5. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise then, for a man to hear the song of fools. What about our environment? See, there's something for that as well. It is written in the book of Psalm, chapter 141, verse 4. Incline not my heart to any evil thing, to practice wicked works with men that work iniquity, and let me not eat of their dainties. Okay, first verse. We got to be very careful with those things that we are placing before our eyes. It, it, with enough time, we can start becoming like that, um, and taking on that which we see a lot, which we watch a lot. We'll start behaving like it. Verse 2, how about those things? It mentioned the Song of Fools. Well, in today's music, there's a whole lot of messages, confusing messages, even if you pay attention to it. But see, how difficult might that be when that rhythm, when that beat drops, when that beat drops, and it just, you know, knocks down the frontal lobe in your whole deciding and, and it's just that's the guard of your mind the frontal lobe when you take that down it, anything can really slip by you and, and music has a way of doing that so we have to be very careful and, and not take this as a criticism because remember it is better to hear the rebuke of the wise of course music is a good thing but which music now as for the environment we have to be careful with that overall not to incline our um, heart onto any evil thing um, we can't mix with those people um, and participate rather uh, if they're going to be doing the wrong thing. If the environment is going to be one where questionable things are occurring, we can't be there. It's, you know, simple. We can't be there. That makes sense though, right? According to the word of God, it's either one or the other. And by beholding, we are changed. So if we are in that environment, sooner or later, that's, that's what we're going to start becoming like. Remember, garbage in, garbage out. Same principle. So if we're going to be putting in garbage into our selves, how are we going to be reflecting something better than that? We have to start with a high resolution image, if you will. We have to have something of, of high quality to begin with. We can't take 
you know, input. We can't put in all of this low stuff and expect something big out of it. Right? Same principle as with graphic design. So there's a way to test everything that we're gonna watch, um, that we're gonna listen to, that we're gonna be in. Um, there's, there's, a, there's a great little test, and it's found in the book of Philippians, it's chapter four, verse eight. Now, it's a series of things that we're gonna look at, so if what we are doing can pass these tests, then you know what, by all means, move forward. Now, Philippians 4, eight says this, here's the test. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, Whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Okay, let's summarize that just a little bit with the key words. Ready? True, honest, just, pure, lovely, good report, virtue, praise. Think on those things. So now, what we're listening to, what we're watching, it's a big list. If it can pass all these things, is what we're watching, for an example, is it true or is it based on lies? Is there little deceptions here and there? If it doesn't meet that, it should be dismissed. How about honest? Something very similar, just, pure. Are the things that we're listening to, um, the music, do they have a pure message or is it one of immorality or corruption of some other sort? What about lovely or good report? Are the things, uh, do our environments carry a good report or are there you know, questionable things about it. Um, virtue, look that up in a dictionary. That's a powerful word. Can we praise God in any of these environments? Um, or is it one, you know, um, it's a good test. Now, moving on, after this test, you can check it. Another great test, well, none other than the Ten Commandments. So, here's the question. If we are putting garbage into us, if that is what is going in through what we watch, through what we listen to, through our senses. If garbage is going in, how are we supposed to be a Christian? <laughs>